Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome once again. You can see that I'm just rubbing in a little bit of Prorasso White Pre-Shave. And I'll just let that sit on my skin while I chit chat to you about what's coming up in today's shave. You can see on my windowsill that I've got a Pera Eras shaving soap. It is a charcoal activated soap. Um, so when you open it, it is entirely black. Now if I turn it around and hold it there, you'll be able to read the ingredients. It comes from Portugal and uh, very pleased to try this. Um, now do you remember that I was restoring a Gillette tech set number 44 with the thin handle. You might remember I said I was a little disappointed to get the one with the thin handle. Well this is the razor. It's come up very nicely indeed. And I've restored the case. This is the thing I'm most pleased with because I don't know if you remember but it was terribly marked. There was paint on it. I've managed to remove the paint particularly from the Gillette logo. That was quite difficult to get the white paint off but leave the logo intact. I'm trying to catch the light. There is, perhaps you can see, there is a little mark down here and if I show you inside, there are some marks. I don't think you can see very well, but there are some marks inside, just a few. Um, and I think that may be from the case. The case is a metal case. And I wonder if this sort of stain on the leather is coming from the inside of the case. Um, but that has come up very nicely indeed. And I'll be shaving with this little thin handled tech from 1948. And I'll be offering this as a giveaway today. Um, now, I'll be using a Supermax Blue Diamond Razor Blade. Uh, it'll be its third use and I've, um, I've been using these just recently. I think they're a really, really good razor blade. They are titanium coated apparently. Now we'll put the cap there. We'll pop the razor blade on. The guard will go on. The head cap on the tech has those four little corner posts. So it holds the blade really nicely in place. There we are, that's all good to go. I'm going to be using my rubber set today. So I'll just wet that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of soap. I just want to show you how little of this soap you need to use. So uh, I think that'll do just a quick scraping. You can see I've got just a very little curl of soap there. Now I'm going to spread that into the bottom of my shaving bowl. It's uh, quite disconcerting when you look your white bowl and you're spreading black soap into it. It's um, it's quite a strange thing. I've got some on my fingers there and some just on my spatula. I thought some hit me in the head then. So we'll just get rid of that and uh, I'll pop the lid on this soap and then I'll start loading my brush. There we go, pop that up there.
It's got good reviews this soap and uh, apparently Pera Uras and uh, I honestly don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Perhaps if you speak Portuguese you will be able to uh, point me in the right direction. But it is a very traditional and common family name in Portugal and it means pear tree. So this soap has come from the pear tree shavery. You can see that the leather is just got a little bit of darkness to it. Um, it does lather up very easily. I may have had my brush a little bit wet then. Um, but we'll see how we go with this. This is the orange and cinnamon scented soap. The one I've bought comes in the plastic tub as you've seen and that retails for 22 euros. Now they also sell a soap in a ceramic tub made locally um, and the ceramic tub has the similar design but the design is blue and uh, that is very nice indeed and that, that ships in a, a small wooden crate and that sells for 38 euros. Now this soap is, um, I, I like an orange scent in my soap, but I, I like a nice light orange scent. And this isn't like that, but it is a nice scent. It reminds me of a sort of excuse the noise, I think there's an aeroplane going over. Um, it reminds me of sort of a Terry's chocolate orange, sort of a, a deep chocolatey type orange scent. And then mixed with that is a cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg perhaps. It's very nice, it's very nice indeed actually and uh, it kind of, uh, it feels quite a sort of fitting scent for, with the cinnamon and the orange, it feels quite fitting for sort of Halloween and, you know, November and Christmas coming up. There we are and you can see that it lathers up quite nicely. sniffed at the wrong time then, a nostril full of soap. Now what I'll do with the giveaway is I'll put in a really good sample of this soap so you'll get to try it. So the giveaway will be the razor and as I say I'll put in a really good sample of that soap and I've got a few other uh, bits and bobs kicking around that I can put in as samples. So that's what you'll get. Now this razor is a mild razor. It reminds me very much of the feather wood and steel razor in that I'm trying to think how to put this. With a more aggressive razor you've got the option of rolling back on the head to ease off on that aggression but you can still get a very nice shave. With a mild razor you don't get that 
opportunity, the sort of the optimum angle for the shave is very narrow. I finally got there. Do you know, I'm trying very hard not to, but I think I might be going to sneeze in a moment. We shall see. Now I have found that with the uh, with the mild erasers that I have a tendency to go over the same spot on my face more than I should. Um, and that tends to make me a little bit sore sometimes. And it certainly happened the first couple of times I've used this razor. But I've got the angle just about right now and it is a nice shave. It's like a feather in that it is a mild shave but if you get it just right um, it, it's a perfectly good shave and you can really feel that you've had a close but quite comfortable shave. It just it just depends on getting that angle right. Do you know this soap is really nice and slick and uh, now that I've chatted to you about the razor a little bit I really wanted to concentrate on the soap. It's Its main ingredient is activated charcoal. Um, I must admit, I find it very odd opening up a tub and finding that the soap is black. I think it's rather a shame that the lather isn't black. Uh, <laughs> that would just tickle me no end. I think that would be really great. I always think it's slightly disappointing when you have a purple coloured lavender soap that the lava isn't purple. But some of the other ingredients in the soap are glycerin, stearic acid, and that is not from tallow, it is a vegetarian soap. Um, there is kaolin clay, lanolin, and the castor seed oil. All in this soap, and it really is a nice slick soap indeed. It has had, as I said, I think very good reviews, particularly for its slickness. Now, the uh, activated charcoal apparently removes toxins. It fights eczema. And it exfoliates the skin. Now, quite how true that is, I don't know. But that is the information that is given on the website for the company. And I'll pop the link in. soap. The soap is made from natural ingredients they tell me and it is uh, ingredients of the highest calibre with no known side effects. 
now you can see maybe on the windowsill that the soap is dribbling down and there's a little bit of blackness to it with that charcoal. It has lathered up so easily and uh, I've still got some in my bowl here and I wasn't trying to create a lather in my bowl. In fact, there's loads, isn't there, on my brush? It's absolutely loaded. There we are now, second pass. I should say that as well as the orange and cinnamon scented soap. They do, I've got water dribbling down my arm. They do a very traditional scented soap called uh, Water Blossom. They can hear with the razor. It is a very lightweight razor. It uh, tends to talk to you when you get the angle just just right. And I'm going to leave that bit now because I can feel that I'm having a good shave, and I don't want to go over the same spot again and again. I don't know about you guys, but with a, a very mild razor, I have a tendency to push the razor onto my skin a little. And uh, there we are, that's the perfect angle. But of course, as you come up under the chin there, the angle changes, and that is the challenge, isn't it? looks good. Now I should say with regard to the giveaway, if you would like to take part in the giveaway please just leave a comment with the word tech, T-E-C-H. Um, if you'd like to comment about anything else then can you please put that in a separate video, uh, sorry in a separate comment. Um, what that does, it just makes it a little bit easier for me. I'll use one of these, um, one of these automated comment pickers, and if I can look on that and just see the one word tech, then I know straight away that's that's a winner, and uh, it's a no-brainer for me. What I'll do is, I'll make the draw on Wednesday the 17th of October. So you've got up until midnight on the 16th of October, um, on my time scale of course, um, 
to put your name down. And then what I'll do is, just after midnight, I'll draw a winner's name and then on the Wednesday I can come and make a video and announce the winner in that video. So there we go, you've got up until midnight on the 16th of October to uh, enter into the giveaway uh, just with a single word comment, tech please. Right there on the dual line. You know, I was disappointed when I got this right, so that it wasn't the fat handle tech. I know I said that earlier, but let me tell you that this, with a with a little thin handle, is an incredibly well balanced razor. I'll tell you, it's it's a really nice razor to hold. There is a tendency, I think, these days for uh, modern razors to have the bigger handles. And uh, I know not all of them, but... Um, and that might well suit some people, of course, but uh, these little handles are not to be sniffed at. It's slightly head heavy, very slightly. It's a very nice razor. So there we go. That's the giveaway. That's my shave. Two passes. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to put on a little bit of alum. I can feel I've had a close shave down here. And uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of sting under here. I've had a really, really close shave. Nothing very dramatic, I have to say, but. Uh, these are the sort of areas that get me quite frequently. Anyway, now what am I going to use today? I'm going to use some, do you know what I'm going to use? I've moved some of my aftershaves up here. I'm going to use the Too Faced today, I think. Protect and care. So I'll give that a shake. I'll just wash this alum off my face. black soap. Oh, how am I going to get that up? It's on the white wallpaper. There we are, a couple of splashes of the Nivea. And that Here's a very nice shave. So that is my lot for this week. I will go and load this up immediately to YouTube. I've had a few problems. I hope you like the giveaway. Um, please subscribe if you like what you've seen. And I'll see you very shortly for another shave. You take care of yourselves. All the best now. Bye-bye.